Today in the boot guide, we are talking about salvage denim, raw denim from Chano Farmer Denim Company in Richmond, Texas. Custom made, handmade, American made. Now the only reason I'm doing this review is because of one of you guys. One of my subscribers back in January sent me a link to Channel Farmer. That very night I placed an order for a pair of jeans because I saw that they were using the classic 501 style. The old vintage, the hard denim, the way that I always thought 501 should be. Not like today when you go to buy a pair and they're all pre-washed and pre-stained and pre-this and pre-that. And they fit like crap. They don't even have that heavy feel to it. When I saw what Channel Farmer was offering in just the denim selection, I was extremely excited. I thought, wow, like here you go. And when I saw the price, under a hundred bucks for a pair of custom made jeans, I was mind blown. I couldn't believe that somebody was able to do this. Now one of the drawbacks was the actual time frame, the weight. Now I ordered these on January 4th, if I'm not mistaken, and I received them on May 8th. That's a pretty long window, that's a five month window. But at the same time, they're handmade and they're custom made. Now something about these Channel Farmer jeans that I have to say is that every measurement is exact. But let's take a really good look at the jeans, flat, Let's measure them out and let's just look at them beforehand. All right, so right out of the box, these Channel Farmer custom made bespoke denim jeans are phenomenal. The hand of the cotton, the denim that they use, which is a Japanese 14 ounce denim. I'm not 100% on what the name of the denim is. These actually feel like a pair of vintage Levi's, if that makes any sense to anybody. Just the pure hand of the denim, the way it looks, the pattern of the indigo, all of that stuff. The pocket sizing on it and the pockets themselves of using the raw edge of the pocket and also just being able to put your hand inside there and see how beautiful the inside of the pocket is. The stitching, every aspect of this jean, every part that is stitched is very nice very handmade looking and its appeal. And I say that because of the way the belt loops are attached. Normally when we see belt loops today, this bar tack, which is here and here on a belt loop, are usually done on a specialty machine that does nothing but bar tacks. The straight stitched back and forth and then the zigzagging in order to cover up the straight stitch and hold it in place is a very nice touch. It's not something that you see outside of the custom bespoke world of products. Now let's get to the measurements on it. Let's measure these out. I get 19 inches. Now the inseam is very important to me. I'm six feet, four inches tall. So I am a taller person. And if I wanna wear a pair of these salvage jeans in the classic style with a little bit of a greaser fold at the bottom, a nice little cuff just to show off the detailing. And look at that detail inside there. There is some nice, detail in there why would i not want to show off how beautiful these jeans are right so the inseam measures out a strong 39 inches on there putting them on as you can see they are a little long you can see that right there you can see just how long they truly are and if i was to just put them in the bathtub and do the instructional type of shrinkage and washing instructions I would always have this big six inch cuff hanging off. Don't really want that. I actually don't want all that bagginess in the butt or in the legs. I want them to fit. And the best possible way I know to get these things to fit right now so I can start wearing them is to put them through the wash, to put them in the machine, to put them in the dryer and see what happens. So all their logoing, their tags, and all this stuff that I always talk about that most guys think is pretty insignificant about anything 
is really nice. It's all on a cardboard. You know, you get their logo tag, you get the Made in USA, the Pride of Made in USA tag, lifetime repair on their jeans, and look at this. They only use the vintage Union Special sewing machines and Singer sewing machines. So this other tag here, this talks about the chalk lines, and there are chalk lines in here. As you can see in the bottom of the pant, there is still a chalk line there. And on this leg, there are two chalk lines, one here and one here. Now chalk lines are chalk lines and anything that is manufactured, you're always gonna have a cut line. Now most stuff is cut in regular manufacturing processes between 25 and 50 units in one cutting. So what that means is that they layer and layer and layer and layer the denim, the cloth and everything into one big pattern and a huge knife comes by and cuts them. These jeans here, they are cut one at a time. So you're gonna have lines like this. You're gonna have chalk lines. This is the quintessential thing about having something custom made is that you see the hands of the artist inside there. The fact that they did over sew this seam just a little bit. Though this person, look at look how tight that is. Look at them. Even though they started here and they came around and they stopped here, it is still, it's a beautiful stitch because they came together. So on the back, you can see that they have their marking here. The style of jean is 905. The waist should wash down or shrink down, however you want to say it, down to a 36. 905 is their number for the style of jean. And like I said before, the 905 balances out to the 501. An American flag right on the back of the butt where normally you would see other other manufacturers will put their logo. They have made in the USA logo flag right in there. But like I said, I want to flip these inside out and show you guys what they look like on the inside. And it's on this side that they really look like a piece of art and less like a pair of blue jeans. The fact that on the back of these copper rivets here that are the button fly, that they have these pieces of leather in all of the rivets here, all through the pockets, they have these pieces of leather on the back end so the rivets don't pull through. And look at the size of these rivets. These are beautiful. That's a full half inch backed rivet. I mean, that thing's gonna stay in there for the life of this pair of pants. That is not gonna pull out at any time. The pocketing, nice and heavy. This is some beautiful heavy pocketing. And as you can tell, look at, it's got the fifth watch pocket and it's a really nice size. I can fit three fingers inside there. Some of the watch pockets nowadays, you couldn't fit a pocket watch in there. But I guess since we are talking about a bespoke item, a custom made item, and we're talking about a customer who is going to carry a pocket watch, it's, it's only right that they would have a nice big pocket there. I mean, that's big enough to fit a Zippo and get it in and out of your pocket. All seams are taped with a nice, beautiful, soft cotton all the way through, right into the crotch area. There are no raw seams. The leg all the way down has got this beautiful detail all the way through showing the edge of the denim and the inseam has got this beautiful tape. So let's see what these jeans look like on unwashed. Okay, so we can see just from the video here of me wearing them before they've been washed, before they've gone through the machine, you can see that they are very loose, very baggy and exceptionally long. Look how long those are. That is actually beautiful. In my opinion, the fact that the jeans are that long, I don't find pants that are ever this long. This is a beautiful thing. But even look how nice they look with that thorough good boot. Look at how nice that cuff looks. Okay, so you can see how they fit on my waist. They are a little big. They are not a skin tight jean. This is not a skinny jean by any means. Guys, if you're looking for skinny jeans, this is not the fit you want. Their 905 fit is not for anybody who wants a skinny jean. Just look at those legs. Look how beautiful that denim looks. That is just a beautiful pair of pants. And this is why I feel the need to wash and dry them in order to get these things to fit and look the way I want them to. So it's been 24 hours, I have washed and dried the jeans. This is what they look like right out of the wash. Okay, so they're a little wrinkled, they're a little beaten up, but that's not the important part. The important part is that 24 hours later, after I spent a day wearing them, after I spent some time out in the street and just getting used to the way they feel, I have to say it's 
they, they have won me over. They are now going to be my favorite pair of pants. Now, as the days progress, I'm probably not going to wash these things for a month, as the raw denim enthusiasts tell me I need to do. I just needed to get that shrinkage. So the waist shrunk down to a perfect 36. The thighs shrunk in. The length, on the other hand, only came up an inch. So from a 39 to a 38. Now I'm still getting the monster cuff at the bottom and that whole look really isn't me. It's not my style. Now some of you guys pull it off really nice and I realize that we kind of share the same items. It just doesn't fit my personality. But it does look cool. The jeans, when they're cuffed over like this, they really look cool. So I have to say the best part about this whole experience of these Channel Farmer raw denim jeans is that they're American made. That I got a chance to take something that was made for me by an artisan that had all the intent put into it and really put it through its tests to wash and dry it. Though it goes against everything that you're supposed to do with these pants, I still had the chance to wash and dry them. And I'm extremely happy with what the outcome is. So that's the Channel Farmer 905 Bespoke Raw Denim Jeep. Hey, if you currently own anything from Channel Farmer, please comment below. They make all kinds of great American-made products, and I think it would be a really good idea if we all just kind of chimed in and just showed off what the American labor force can do, even if it is only on a small scale. Hey, if you're interested in knowing more about Channel Farmer, remember you can always swing by to bootguy.com. There I'll have all the links to their website, to the ordering process. I'll have a little blog posting all about when I ordered mine, how long it took, and just the excellent communication between me and the artist and going back and forth over the weeks and months. Just how easy they actually made it to order a pair of custom made jeans. Also, if you want to see some detailed photos of all the packaging, plus the before and after photos of what the denim looks like, real nice, up close, tight, high resolution shots so you can see what the denim actually looks like as it goes through a washing machine process, also, swing by to bootguy.com. I'll have all that posted in a blog posting. Hey, please don't forget to hit my subscribe button below. It really helps out. You guys know that. Plus, don't forget, you can follow me on Instagram and Twitter. All day long, I'm finding interesting boots. You guys are sending me some interesting boots. You guys are sending me all kinds of interesting ideas and products and stuff. And I try to get it out there and just see what is really going on. If you guys want to see me do videos about some of the stuff you're sending me. Hey, if you got any questions about buying a pair of these, and you just want uh, my input on what I feel or think about these raw denim bespoke jeans made by Channel Farmer, remember you can always shoot me over an email. Alright, until the next time, I'm the Boot Guy. Thanks a lot for watching.